Okay, we're back with another bug fix. And if you have today's bug, the error message that you're probably putting in Google is something like type error response.json is not a function. So let's go ahead and get into why this is and what the solution is. Okay, so if you're encountering this error, probably what you're trying to do is to make a call to an API. You're putting the response from that API in a variable called response, and then you're trying to turn that into a JavaScript object with response.json, but you're getting this error. And there are probably two reasons that you're getting this error. So the first error is that you're probably not awaiting the response to your API call. So there are a couple ways of doing this. The old fashioned way is with a dot then. So you await the resolution of the promise. And then in your dot then you can assign the response from that API call to whatever your variable is. Or if you wanna use a little bit more of a modern technique, you can use the async and await keyword. So you declare your function as being async, and then you put the keyword await in front of the API call. And so then the code kind of reads synchronously, even though there are asynchronous things happening. So if you're getting this error, you're probably not putting that await keyword in front of the API call, or you're not using dot then. But there's a second reason that people get this error that you might not think of. And that second reason is that if you're using response.json, response.json also returns a promise and also needs to be awaited. So what this function does is it takes JSON and turns it into a JavaScript object that you can access and interact with. But the thing is, it's a readable stream and it takes time to process that stream from JSON to JavaScript. And for that reason, it returns a promise and that promise needs to be resolved before you can do anything with it. So at the end of the day, if you're awaiting your API call and you're still getting errors, then you may need to also await your response.json call. That's all for today. I hope this was helpful. If you're still here, you probably like the rest of my channel, which focuses on software engineering and self-employment. So consider subscribing. Regardless, thanks so much for watching to the end. Remember, stay hungry, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.